So as a pet owner, I know that I get very anxious when something unexpected happens with my beloved Jeff Bridges. <laughs> and I know you feel the same way at home, too. That is where our next guest comes in, uh, Dr. Karen Marsden coming in. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you here in the studio. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, we've dipped into the mailbag tonight. Uh, we, we put a plea out to you to, to get some questions, to get something that uh, you need settled at home involving your cat, your dog, your ferret, your elephant. And, uh, okay, no elephants. Just no so elephants, clear. please. No elephants. <laughs> uh, first one tonight comes to us from Ryan and uh, talking about his cat. A uh, 15-year-old cat named Meow has started nipping at me occasionally when I try to pet her. Her or try to remove some small pieces of matted hair. She never used to do this. Is this a sign of old age or is it something else? Yeah, 15 is older and cats are so agile and they don't really complain. We don't think they get arthritis, but that would be the biggest tip off. You're petting your cat, she's always been okay, and then she's like, aha. And so cat, cats do need pain medicine and they do need pain relief. And as we see them growing to be 15, I mean, that's like. 92 years old for a that's cat. A, that's a very yes, healthy run. Yes, of course. So if, if she's sure. just got a little bit of arthritis, then she's doing wonders already. Right. And they need to treat it, though, you know, not just ignore it. All right. Next up, uh, we'll switch uh, over to the dog world. Uh, Kathy talking about her three-year-old chocolate lab, Bailey. Uh, very well-behaved dog. Uh, knows the basic commands. But from time to time, getting ready to return from the park, uh, when he's attached to his leash, he will bite the leash and pull it from her hands, lets out a growl, and is something that she perceives to be more aggressive than playful. What should she infer by that? Yeah, it's so funny. I read this, and it was, I completely lived this with my own dog, and my husband and I are both veterinarians. And we'd take her out, and then we'd try to get her back on the leash or get her home, and she would have none of it. It was embarrassing if we saw anyone who knew us, because we're like, yes, we're professionals. <laughs> but what she's doing and what he's doing is they're not ready. Like, they still want to play, and they don't see you quite as alpha. And so they're like, oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm going to have some more good times, and you're going to wait. And she would bark at us. It was embarrassing. But um, there are training things you can do. There's an organization called Bark Busters. There are other ones as well. But you need to kind of be very firm. So give treats, but be very serious. And um, it's a training issue, but that's what's happening. All that right. dog's so challenging them. Definitely regain your status as the alpha dog. You do. And that's not by being erratic yeah. or screaming. Like, dogs like calmness, but it's just routine and... Um, there are some good tricks, but they need to look in some training books. All right. Well, here comes the curveball in tonight's okay. question uh, in the old mailbag, talking about an 11-month-old bird, a green cheek conure. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this is Steven's bird. Uh, says that uh, when should we be concerned about beak length or look at beak grinding? Uh, the bird in question, Trudy, chews on wood, but not massive amounts, so we don't want to risk waiting too long. Uh, there you have a look at Trudy's beak right now. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a thing? Yes. Uh, Trudy's beak looks okay right now. Um, so there are a couple different things. Like she's new, or he, was it? it was, uh, uh, Trudy. Yeah, 11-month-old bird. So yeah. still relatively. Um, yeah. So what would be better than wood is nuts. Like birds like nuts um, with the shell on. You know, mm -hmm. you get the walnuts, and they can chew on that to keep their beaks shorter. Um, if the wings are clipped, usually they are. Birds actually use their beaks to climb, so if she, Trudy, is allowed around the house, climbing, that keeps the beak short. Um, those are better things than going into clipping. I, it really stresses them out. It actually could be slightly life-endangering okay. at times. So you want to, you, you, yeah, <laughs> you scare the bird when it could be eating nuts. Like, I would pick party nuts over, like, a big machine coming at my beak. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, right? I think Anyone. Have, like, a universal <laughs> agreement yeah. on that one yeah. right there. Uh, we got time, I think, for one more here. We're going to okay. talk about uh, Brandy and her dog. And uh, this is interesting. A lump uh, discovered on my beautiful Norwegian elk hound uh, in the neck and gland area. Uh, attempted to use antibiotics. Didn't do the trick. Uh, they're going to be taking him in again to, to look at this. But just on your... Uh, expertise. What might you think this is if it's not something that antibiotics could cure? Okay, so it depends. I, obviously, they went to a veterinarian mm -hmm. who thought it was an infection. And the reason they might have thought that is because, just like us, they have lymph nodes right here. But they could have a soft tissue tumor. It could be a tumor, it's just a growth. It could be cancer, it could be not cancer. So the veterinarian will probably take an aspirate 
So it, it could be a mass or um, it could be something else. I don't know how old the dog is. There are lymphatic um, issues and drainage in that area. So it's not infectious. It, it probably is some kind of lymphoid reaction or a mass. Okay, interesting. And definitely something that would have to be diagnosed in person, I would imagine. Yeah, they need to go figure that out. Uh, this is one that I think most dog owners have probably encountered at some point uh, during their days as a, a puppy parent. This is from Dina talking about her dog. Uh, turns out that her pooch has a penchant for eating clothes, uh, specifically taking garments out of the hamper, uh, chews them but actually doesn't eat them. So basically just gnaws on them and wets them and whatnot. Uh, this, this looks like a guilty dog. That is a guilty dog face. Oh but um, what are your thoughts on that? Because again, it's, it's interesting. Like in my instances, it seems like my dog has always been the type to, to eat a garment. Not a habit that he has anymore, but certainly yeah. when we first got him, he was an eater, not a chewer. That's a cute dog. That dog does look guilty. And the key word is hamper, which I had a dog like that. Again, these are like all the dogs I've had. Um, <laughs> dirty laundry is much more exciting than clean laundry if you're a dog. So first of all, they should put a latch on the hamper, but they should have more things around for the dog to chew on. She's obviously looking for something to chew or suck. So they need to have alternatives like a chew toy or maybe a stinky chew toy. It's been sitting in the hamper that they can bring out that is an okay something for her to chew on. She obviously likes that smell of dirty laundry. Yeah, it's, it's a bad it, girl. Right? <laughs> Tell you about it. This is going in an unusual direction. Uh, <laughs> final one today. We've got time for one more. Uh, this comes to us from Jess talking about one-year-old Buckley. Uh, Buckley wakes up or cuddles and gets pets. Uh, he starts to pant really loud and uh, she's worried that uh, that panting isn't good she's she's concerned that it might be something tied to stress could that be the case i don't know why buckley would be stressed when he woke up but you know i actually would want to put a stethoscope to him and make sure that everything's okay um because there's no reason he should be panting and overheating like that especially every time he wakes up yeah, and yeah. Just, just as it a just, rule, what, what typically is a panting a sign of in dogs when it's not necessarily related to a physical? Um, panting could be pain, mm -hmm. anxiety, um, or perhaps a metabolic thing, like an internal kind of um, uh, hot flash or a heart problem. I mean, it's wide open. So if it's a pattern and she sees it every single mm -hmm. time and he's a older dog, he should have a physical and just rule out well, well one year old dog so he's still only your, one still only one yeah yeah, yeah. um I would still have him checked out, like make his heart, make sure his heart's okay and nothing else is going on. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Dogs can get diabetes. They can get all kinds of things, but panting when you wake up, I don't know exactly what kind of petting she's doing if she's getting him all, you know, well, could, overheated. Well, that's good too, right? <laughs> right. I, I will say that uh, with with me, it's uh, it tends to be kind of whenever the panting happens with my dog, usually is when I'm more playful with them. Yeah. Right? Uh, the one thing that I do know here is that when Buckley does wake up, I guess, is it's, it's behind the ears, and then that's when Buckley starts to pant. Oh, when she specifically yeah. goes behind the ears? Yeah. Well, I think he's just getting excited and happy. Then well, I don't go. think that that's a medical problem. Okay. No, but if she just was doing this and he was like, <gasps> you know, that would be not appropriate. Okay, but so yeah. basically if it's behind the ears, yeah, he's that's, just that's, happy. That's a smile. That's, that's a that's doggy. The happy, yeah. The happy kind of pet. He's like, oh yeah. Awesome. More mommy. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. All right. Well, that is it for the mailbag. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Very insightful, Karen. Appreciate oh, it. No problem. Thank and you. And we'll be doing this again. So if we didn't get to your question tonight, don't fret. Uh, we'll be doing this again in about a month or so. Right now, though, we are going to go to break. Uh, don't go too far. We've got uh, Social Bites in your daily download, as well as more Bridget Ryan out on remote. Stay tuned.